Hey, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to convert a shot from a camera track to an object track. So here we have a solved scene. And as you can see, it's a camera track with the camera moving and all the trackers stationary. But you can see that with a scene like this, we might want to have it the other way around, i.e. the camera stationary and moving object and trackers all moving. So sometimes people will worry about it. All of a sudden, they figure out that's what they want. But you know, do you now have to go and retract the scene? And the answer to that is no. It's quite easy to go and switch from one form to the other. So that's what I'm going to show here. So first, let's go up to the Shot menu. And we're going to do an Add Moving Object. So that's what we're going to be working on in a second. But first, we need to go back to the camera. And we're going to just reset the scene. This clears out the solution because we don't want the camera to be moved. In a second, I'm going to disable the camera so that it's no longer being solved. So we want to make sure that we have the camera standing still before we disable it. The reason we needed to disable it is because in a second, it's not going to have any trackers left. And when Synthize goes to resolve the scene, we don't want it to get an error because there aren't any trackers on that camera. So we just tell it the camera is disabled. So having done that, we can now go and do a Control A or a Command A and select all of our trackers. Now we're going to go to the Coordinates panel. And on this drop down here, it's the owning camera or object, you see. We're going to just select Object 01. We get a little question that pops up. Would you like to clone the trackers or move them? So we're just going to select No to move them. So now we've got all of the trackers on the moving object. Nothing's left on the camera. The camera is disabled. So we can go back to the solver. And now we'll just solve the scene again. And presto, we get a new solution. And if you look at this, you'll see we now have the camera down here is stationary. And we've got this moving object with all the trackers on it. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we've got. So that's a relatively straightforward process. Now you can see from this drop down up here that you can move the, the trackers wherever you need to. So we can, in fact, do this the other way around as well, change a object track back to a camera track or whichever. In a scene like this, the camera's actually moving, the object's actually moving. So we might need to have some, you know, we'd like to do a camera plus object track. And if we did that, if we got a tracker in the wrong place, we can use that drop down to move it back and forth between the object or the camera track as required. Thanks.